So today I'm going to be sharing with you swatches and kind of my, I mean I have been using these so I kind of have a review, it's not really first impressions, although it will be a first impressions for the actual pencils, um, of the new Makeup Forever Artist Acrylic, uh, Acrylic, Acrylic, no, <laughs> so basically they have 10 bold and buildable shades inspired by the rich intensity of acrylic paint. Um, these retail for $24 each. They're online December 20th at Sephora.com and MakeupForever.com and they're in store in January at Sephora and Makeup Forever Boutiques. This, uh, the specific color I love is color 200. Oh my gosh, if you pair this with like a nude, um, kind of like mauve lip liner and then put this over, it is so beautiful. The, the reason I love these so much is because they're pretty matte, but they don't have that drying effect that like a liquid, like matte lipstick does. Um, but they stay in place all day long. Like they just look really good throughout the day. I've been really happy. I've worn this now. I think I'm on like my third day consecutively of wearing this exact one and I have been really happy. It hasn't dried my lips out. It just lasts all day and I know that I don't have to worry about it or like it getting everywhere, like it doesn't transfer. Obviously if you freshly applied it, it probably would, but it's been on me now for um, quite a long time. And you can see this, the color is still there. I haven't touched it up. It's been on for probably over like five hours. First of all, let me just talk about how cute the little tin that it came in. It came in like a little paint can and then they filled it with all the different shades. It also says that you can mix and match the shades to create your own custom shade. They also have the aqua lip and these again came in, whoops, oh my, oh my gosh. What? Oh, okay. I'll have to double check on the price for these. There's eight shades of the liners, and then there's this, which is called the Colorless Lip Line Perfector, um, that this makes your favorite lip look last all day. So, oh, interesting. It says, line the lips with the Makeup Forever Lip Line Perfector, then apply it one drop of the Artist Acrylic to the center of the bottom lip and use the cushion applicator to blend outward. And that is so true. You do not need a whole lot of this. Barely any goes a really long way. They're very, very pigmented. I'm going to go ahead and show you the liners first. And it basically just says that these are the ultimate long wear lip. And they all coordinate with the actual acrylic lip paint. So they have the exact same shades in the liners as they do in lip paints. Just go ahead and swatch. So... I'm going to show you the um, lip line perfector first and this is, okay, so yeah, it's just clear and I'm assuming that this just makes it so that you don't have feathering, that it kind of helps your lips stay in place all day long. The next color that we have is 18C. It's kind of like a peachy, whoa, okay, that's like a neon coral, if you can see right there. That's definitely neon. Okay, then next we have... 20C, which looks like it's going to be a nice pink. That's like a true pink. These feel really creamy when you're applying them. That one actually has a little bit of gold sparkle in it. Next we have the color 17C. And I like the fact that with these, the tip and the cap is actually um, colored, the color that it's going to be. So it's really convenient when you're grabbing it out of your mug or whatever you keep your lip liners in. I keep mine in mugs because then I can see them easier. That one is like a true orange. I just like the fact that that makes it so easy to spot the color that you're looking for. Let's do this pink one. This one is the color 16C. So it's just a nice bright pink. So that's like a nice kind of like neon bright pink. These feel very creamy. They're very pigmented. They glide on really nicely. Now we have the color 8C, which looks like it's going to be like a nice red. Yeah, that's a really nice red. So if you're looking for a good Christmas red, that would be the one that you'd want. Then we have the color 13C, which looks like it's going to be a nice kind of like vampy. Okay, so that's like a nice deep kind of vampy purple plum color. This one is 19C. This looks like it's a bit of more of a kind of burgundy shade. Oh, sorry. This is a true berry. This is like a raspberry. Um, last but not least, we have 10C, which looks like it's going to be slightly deeper. Okay, so this is more of a kind of... Um, plum but it's not 
as deep as that other one. So there's all the swatches of those. So you can see they're pigmented. They're very, very, um, they apply very creamily. I feel like with these kind of lip liners, you can technically not even have to wear a lipstick or gloss or anything. You can usually just put them right over and then you just have like a nice matte lip that won't go anywhere. However, these babies are quite fabulous. So I'm gonna go ahead and swatch these. 200, like I said, is my absolute favorite and that one pairs off with the 20C lip liner, which is this one right here. So they're little buddies. So it's kind of nice that like, if you are looking for these paints, you can also find the lip liner that goes with them. I'll put them right next to, and these, um, they come with like a little sponge applicator tip. So you squeeze it a tiny little amount and you basically, here, I'll just put a little bit on. So you guys can see, there's nothing. I didn't even squeeze it out. That's just what's left on the applicator. Um, you can see whatever was on the applicator now just refresh my lips like you don't need any of this this is going to last you so long i specifically have been pairing it off with the high precision lip pencil from makeup forever number 11 and i really like the way the darkness of this kind of like blends it out and makes it so that it's not so pink but it still has like some pink there so i love that duo um okay then we have the color 202 again it's got that sponge applicator i'm just going to go ahead and put it down here Whoa, that is intense. These are intense, guys. These are like so pigmented. It's a craziness. Okay, there's that right there. So it's kind of like a really intense, kind of like hot, corally pink. Okay, then we have the color 600, which goes with 13C. So that's that kind of like really vampy, like, oh, baby. So I'm going to put that one right next to 13C. I'll show this close up, but you can see right there. So obviously the lip paints are a little deeper than the lip liners. 201 goes with 16C. So these ones go together like that. I mean, I really like the fact that they've made the lip liners to go with the lip paints. Wow, these are so intense. They're so pigmented, it's ridiculous. Um, this is the color 400, and that goes with 8C, which I believe is this one. Yes, so it's like that nice true red. I feel like the lip paints are so much more intense than the lip pencils, even though the lip pencils are very pigmented themselves. But these are just like, it's basically like putting lacquer on your lips. Then we have the color 301, which goes with that really corally color, which is 18C. This is a really fun color for summer because it's super like a neon coral. Look how pretty those are, oh my gosh, I love them. I really like the convenience of the little sponge applicator, like it really does make it very easy to apply. 500 goes with, oh, I don't have 500 in a lip liner. It doesn't have an actual liner to go with this one, from what I have at least, so I'm just gonna put this one down here. That's like a super intense purple. So 500 is like a really like neon purple. Then we have the color 401, which goes with 19C. So these two are friends right here. I think I did that wrong. Maybe I did. Yeah, oh, maybe not. And then we have 300, which is that true. It is so much brighter in the lip paint than the pencil. Okay, I am missing one. And honestly, I dropped this the other day and everything went flying out. So one of them is hiding somewhere in this mess. So I'm, I'm, I've lost this one, which I think is 600. What a bummer. You can see how intense these are. They are unbelievably amazing. Like, it's just crazy. Now, I am seeing a little bit of bleeding from this darker one. So you definitely would want to use a lip liner with this. I don't know how that's going to do on the lip. I haven't had any bleeding from the ones that I have been wearing, which is that one. You can see how gorgeous these colors are. They are just like so pigmented. It's insane. Interesting. So it says if you want intense color and shine, apply three to four drops directly to the bottom of the lip and blend outward. So apparently if you do apply more, then you can get a really shiny lip. So let's try it, because I've only used like the tiniest amount and it gives me a matte lip. So I am interested to see if I apply a little bit more. Okay, so you can see when I apply like three to four drops, it obviously is like intensely pink. Now this is too pink for me. I would not wear this um, 
like intense color. I like it when it's a soft color, just using a tiny little bit. Okay, so yes, if you want super shiny, apply a lot. I don't know if you're gonna have, you will probably have transfer with this though, I'm assuming, because I use a really tiny amount and I don't get any transfer and it just gives me a nice matte, like soft, not super matte, but like a nice soft kind of, just soft matte lip. Um, this, okay, yeah, you're definitely gonna get transfer if you put a lot on. So it really depends on how intense you want the color, how shiny you want it to be. If you want like a super duper like glossy, like look at me, I'm so amazing and bright, then put more on if you want like a really, really soft, just kind of nice color on your lip. Um, then just like barely use the tiniest amount. You do not need much of this at all. Like that wasn't even three to four drops. That was like two, like it was, it's intense stuff. It's not overly scented. So it's not like something that you're gonna be like, eh, that's too much or too sweet or anything like that. Love the packaging, I think it's really, really easy to use. Very convenient to carry in your pocket. And I love the fact that the color is on the actual packaging. So you can see when you're grabbing it in your drawer, boom, there's the color that I want. I love it, there it is. Same with the pencils very convenient they've made it super easy to um it's just like very user friendly okay so there it is there's my kind of first impressions slash review because i have used those lip paints um for more than a few days and i like them uh and there's my swatches i hope you guys found that helpful i'm really into these lip paints i think there's going to be a lot of people that are going to really really love them because they have that matte if you use a little bit that matte finish without the super dryness or the cracking or the making your lips look super cruddy throughout the day if you don't have lip fillers. Definitely check these out. I will leave a link down below. Again, they're available the 20th, so if I can't find a link, just keep in mind that they'll be coming out on the 20th and then you'll be able to get them, but usually they'll have like a order for later or coming soon. Um, so I'll try to find that in the down bar. And then again, I don't know, there's no price on these. I'm assuming they're the same price, which is 24, um, but I will leave that information down below as well. So definitely check out the description box so that you guys know exactly what you need to know for this um, launch. So lovely, I'm super excited about these. They've got some really fun colors and I think it's nice because they do have some spring summer colors, but then there's also some really good fall winter colors. I mean, I guess we're in winter now. Well, not technically, but it's pretty darn winterish. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. I'm just gonna go ahead and do one more thing so you guys can really have a good look and then I'll be off. Bye. There's another really nice close up so you can see. God, these are so intense. And look at my snowman, isn't he cute? I just got my nails done today. Yeah, I don't know why that one's bleeding so much. That's weird. Maybe I need to shake it up a little bit. And look how purple that one is. Gosh, they're so pretty. I love them. Yes, go buy them now. Except for on the 20th, technically. Okay, bye.